So it's September 14th, really odd time of year for such a tiny little baby chipmunk to come in. Its eyes aren't even opened yet. Let's see if I can get it to take a little food. It was found, uh, there was a great big old nest in the, a barbecue. Cleaned out the nest out of the barbecue and they found this one little all alone baby chipmunk. His eyes are, I figure he's about a week old, thereabouts. His eyes aren't quite open yet. Oops, sorry, I'm not doing this where you can see. I can't watch the camera and the baby at the same time. It's okay, little guy. Be careful not to give it too much food at a time so we don't choke it. He weighed only nine grams when he came in. At first glance, I thought we had another little, uh, little pack rat, but then I saw his stripes. It's like, oh, the lady that brought him in, her name was Susan, and she was right. So you can see the little stripes. So, some kind of little chipmunk of some sort. Yes, I know. This does not taste like mommy, does it? little drop at a time. It's like I got some on your chin there. For a while there in summer we get so busy it's like ah uh, we're so tired but it's been starting to slow down which has been a big relief and so now this little guy comes in and it's like oh something different for the time of year. Not something you usually have in September. Such a wee little baby. By the time he's old enough to be released, it'll be cold up here. We'll probably have to take him south. Huh? Let me put him back in the warmer so he stays warm for the, the night and I'll get up and feed him in a few hours. There we go. This is a cute little handmade nest somebody crocheted for us. As long as we line it with the paper towels, it seems to hold up pretty well. I'm really surprised. So thank you for the, the handmade nest. Get Come on, baby. Okay, we're running. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, eager to eat. Being just a little squirmy this morning. So what you doing, Sue? I'm trying to feed a baby chipmunk. It's a little late in the season. In fact, very late in the season. I thought baby season was over. So did we. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've got this little baby chipmunk that came in. It was, uh, now was it in somebody's barbecue on a nest? Yeah, I guess the parents had built a big nest in the barbecue. Birds do that a lot. And husband was cleaning out the, the nest and found this one little tiny baby all by itself. So I think it came in, is this our third night we had it? Yep. So it came in the evening, which was a couple nights back. Well, he's grown a bunch since we got him. Well, he's gained a gram. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot for a little baby Even chipmunk. You figure he started off at nine grams. He's 10 grams now. Yeah, he was like the size of a peanut. And he came in, he was just itty bitty, just a... Uh, you can see just, his cute little stripes. Yeah, there's his stripes. <laughs> his chipmunk signature. Yep. So our uh, having to get up a couple times in the middle of the night continues, I guess, with the At least we've this little baby. Had a bit of a break from it. We did. We got most of the babies gone now, and 
back in the wild where they belong, but. Push that out and get some warm. It gets cold fast when you only have a tiny bit in the syringe at a time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's okay, baby. So anyway, little tiny baby chipmunks are newest arrival that we're caring for. And Mama Susan is doing a great job with him. <laughs> Trying. Come on, get the mouth open. Yeah, get the mouth open. Well, I hear Belle calling. She wants to get up this morning. Yeah, she wants to go out. So I better get Belle and Helen put out for the day. Okay. While you uh, continue on with this little one. Yep. Can only give it a drop at a time. Don't want to give it too much to have it inhale. Yep. Huh, baby? Yeah, don't want you to inhale your food. So our newest little arrival. Definitely a little. Super cute, baby chipmunk. Okay, well, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. Hungry. Yep, I'm hungry. Doesn't take much to fill up the little guy. They are wiggly little critters. Yeah. It's probably the hardest thing about feeding them is getting them to hold still long enough to get them to eat. Well, he ate a couple hours ago, so he... I woke him up and he thought he was hungry, but he's probably had just about enough. Doesn't even take a whole milliliter, takes less. Well, about done. Cute little chipmunk. He's up to 10 grams. Yeah, he's putting on weight. It's only one gram, but that's 10%. <laughs> yeah, he's growing. His stripes are getting darker. His fur starts to grow in. Okay, baby. Yes, I know you want to cuddle and go back to sleep, don't you? Do you want more? Or are you full? I think he's full. I think he just wants to burrow in somewhere. Go sleepy, huh? You get a full tummy and they sleep. Yep. That's what they do. Get back in here where it's warm. Under the light, heat. No, oh, don't call in there. Okay. Definitely wiggly. Come on. Get you started.
we're struggling with chimps. Okay, let's try again. Let's get you started. guy we have to let him get a latch hold of this nipple and start sucking and we have to go really really slow or he will choke and get it up his nose or worse down the lungs He's up to half an ounce, or 15 grams. Sometimes he'll eat real good, and other times we have quite the struggle. He's got a good grip on it. Now we just go slow so he gets a little tiny bit at a time. And Martin's bringing his birds up from downstairs, put them outside. So he's got to take care of all the critters in the morning. that all for now. Cold in here this morning, huh? I've got you away from your little warmer. Time to put you back. Oh, wonderful. No note. Okay. You know, we thought the baby bottle raising season was over, and uh, and then as soon as I said, "Hey, I will maybe be able to sleep through the night." Let me go get the baby and bring it out. Sure, go get the baby and bring it out. And so we've got another baby chipmunk that we're bottle raising. And so this the the baby season just seems like it's never going to end. And there wasn't a note with these, but these are the miracle nipples that we use all the time to, to raise these small little mammals that, that we get into our rescue center all the time. And so thank you. We've gone through a ton of these this year. And Susan's going to bring the little chipmunk out. Here she comes. Yeah. You were not supposed to. We were quite surprised when this came in. Yeah. Let me get it here close to the 
the camera. We were quite surprised when this came in um, just a uh, little day. over a week ago. Yeah, almost it was a day old when it came to us. Yep, didn't have any fur. Anyhow, little baby chipmunk. Uh -uh. He takes picture. He's taking some video. Oh, cute. We're gonna release him tomorrow. That's a little piece of peach. He thinks is just delicious. <laughs> He's like, yum. His cute little black eyes. I got that. Don't scare him. I remember when he came in, I told Kimberly, don't tell him what it is. She says, I have no clue what it is. <laughs> and I see it, I'm like, chunk. Yeah. He, like, was, he was still bald, but he had, uh, you can see the faint stripes on his bald skin. Mm -hmm. I was like, I gave you milk one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tori fed you once. Bring just a love. So I told Martin, maybe he needs to spend the winter with us. And Martin's like, uh, he was bouncing off the walls in this thing. He really shouldn't spend the winter. So we're going to take him south tomorrow with a, with a pile of food so that he can still have time to find a safe place for the winter. <laughs> more! He's like, he wants more. As cute as they are, they're not meant to be kept as pets. Got a little chipmunk right here. That chipmunk's ready to go to the wild he's, as well. He's hiding under his blanket. Okay. Better. Well, as you can see, we've, we're doing a, a second release right now. Susan's it's opening no up. No danger from the hawk. No <laughs> danger from the hawk. The hawk is long gone. Yeah, so we're we're good with that. Too big to catch a little bit. But let's like this. come in here and peek a little bit gonna, while Susan's putting out. I'm gonna what what we're what we're doing is we're kind of packing up the area so we've got some alfalfa we've got uh, uh, some seeds since he hasn't been gathering all winter we're kind of giving him a head start yeah. so then it's a matter of it's here and he's got to find his little hole in the cracks that he wants to go make his den there's a lot of rocks and trees here mm -hmm. hi little baby okay there's your baby <laughs> Yeah, but you tip it for Oh, there we go. He's going right up your arm. There he goes. <laughs> and he's released. <laughs> checking out the, the leaves and everything so yep they get wild I, I debated keeping him for the winter because he came so late Martin's like no he's jumping jumping off the walls of things so he's got to I don't see him anymore do you still see him he will find a good spot yeah this is a great place for him this is just up in the PJs south of south of where he came from because it's just a little too cool up north yep there's the oh, there's our little east chipmunk right oh, yeah. there. Oh, yeah, there he is. I can see him good from my angle. Whoops, he's right by my feet. Hi, yeah. baby. Now he's over here. <laughs> They're pretty active little critters. Yeah, they don't stay tame. They really don't make good pets as cute as they Well, are. we're not going to try not to drive him any further away from where we stashed a big food stash okay. for him. Yep. So, anyway, guys, there, there's a a successful chipmunk release. Yeah, he came in hairless. Yeah, he was the size of a peanut when he came to us. He was just... You could just see the faint stripes on his body without any hair. Yep. But he's around here somewhere. He'll be fine. His goal is to be quick and stay hidden and find himself a new den. Yep. So, uh... Hey, okay, guys. Thanks for joining us. Get a couple more critters put back to the wild. Can I say it now, Sue? What? Baby season is officially over. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I said that once before, and then this little guy came in. Yeah. At, at about a day old. And so I'll, I'll say it again. Baby season's officially over. We're grateful. We've released a lot of them back to the wild. And uh, so now we'll just worry about the... Uh, the full-grown ones migrating kind of a thing but you can see this is absolutely beautiful country uh, very very little 
uh, human activity out here. And uh, like I said, our red-tailed hawk disappeared in those clouds right there beyond sight. So where, where he is is just strictly up to him. But uh, what a great day. And I hope you guys enjoyed our little video and get ourselves back to the car and since Susan's already there. I thought I'd give you guys a minute or two just to look around.